So for that reason, the reason of being able to um, analyze situations and basically, if you can analyze it and get an insight on it, then you can accelerate the progress, your progress. So on some level, I think, man, I think I would have used it, you know, like. It also, I think that what it does when you eat it is it opens up the subconscious mind. And I think that's real key. Uh, I think when it opens up that subconscious, it's, it's, it's helpful if you are engaging in activities that you want to be committed to. And you want to bring you want to bring forth and you want to make it a part of your lifestyle. So like camping, for example, go camping and be high, you know, and experience that. It could be it could have some pros and some cons, really, because uh, sometimes this, this particular substance for some of us, it may spook you. You know, it could spook you, meaning that it makes you so sensitive to things that, you know, you could if you start feeling the presence of demons or, or ghosts, you feel them like the shit is you feel that shit like, oh, shit. So you, it's not what you really want to be putting in. But again, it, it teaches you self-control that you control so much of the spirit world, like just by a thought. Boom, you can make uh, pain go away and joy come in. Like, you know, I've had moments where I feel like dying. And I thought it was just part of a phase that, like, seems like it takes you through a phase. Like, you know, you go from maybe kind of jovial to maybe kind of horny to maybe happy. Um,. You know what I'm saying, or, or or fear of death, whatever, that, and then and then to like getting tired and thirsty or whatever, right? So, but you you still have like a level of control, especially when it comes to the the spiritual entities that you feel are, are around you or whatever. Like you have, you 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 get access. I think you get access to a part of your being that's like it's like a key. I think it's that serious. Like damn, I get to open that up. But yeah, I think using it when you're going to go do something that is important to you could definitely help you get more out of it and uh, plant the memory much more with much more vibrancy and color and significance. You know what I'm saying? So that uh, when you're off of it, you still always is part of your program and you're always attracting it or being attracted to it, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So this is how I like uh to talk about marijuana and to use marijuana as a progressive developmental tool and that's how I think of it and I think for social design I think we could use it uh, I discovered I see it now it's like it's one thing you don't use it it's another thing you use it you finally start seeing things I see that a lot of people could benefit a lot of people who were like me they're like no I'm not using that a lot of people could benefit by being able to, to juxtapose themselves, you know, in their typical state of, of, of awareness versus this expanded state of awareness and see what, how, who they are, like get a different perspective on yourself. I think I highly recommend it, you know. Again, not all, not all is the same, so I can't speak for every strand. I got like 200 different strands. I can't speak for, you know, uh, bubblicious, purple bubblicious popcorn. I can't speak for, you know, Snoop Dogg's, uh, uh, reserve. I can't speak on that. I, I I can only speak on what what I've tried. You know. So that's the same source, and so uh, homegrown, and so I know where it comes from. I know everything, and it's and it's, it's good. So I'm gonna get on out. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Giga speed.